my topic is dc dc converter that is dc chopper my name is dilip mus block diagram of dc dc converter here first of all what is converter converter is one form of voltage is changed to another form that is ac to dc or dc to ac or dc to ac or dc to dc here chopper dc to dc to converter is a chopper what is mean by chopper chopper is a a static device which is converted the variable dc voltage to constant dc voltage um uh, or a constant dc voltage to variable dc voltage here block diagram of dc dc converter here dc ac line voltage that is single phase or three phase voltage will be given to the uncontrolled diode rectifier here the rectifier what is the function of rectifier means uh that is the ac to dc convert ac to dc so here the single phase or a three phase voltage will be converted to dc voltage that dc voltage is unregulated so here the unregulated dc voltage and the battery voltage that will be in the filter capacitor that will be given to the filter capacitor here the filter capacitor filter the ac voltage so that filtered ac voltage to converted to dc voltage that dc voltage is given to the dc dc converter here the fixed dc voltage will be converted to a variable dc voltage that is a regulated dc voltage uh, how to uh, dc converter here the a uh, v control supply will be given so that will be come back the dc unregulated voltage and the v control voltage will be come back that given the dc regulated voltage that dc regulated voltage will be given to the load so chopper is a static device which is used to obtain the variable dc voltage from a constant dc voltage source a chopper is known as a dc dc converter the thyristor converter offer greater efficiency for fast response lower maintenance smaller size and smooth control so choppers are widely used in trolley cars battery operated vehicle traction motor control control of large number of dc motor etc they are also used in regenerative braking of a dc motor to return energy brake up break up to supply and also as a dc voltage regulator so chopper sir two types that is step down chopper step up chopper step down chopper the voltage will be less than that the input voltage whereas the step up chopper the output voltage will be more than the input voltage so the principle of step down chopper here a chopper a resistance will be there so here the voltage that will be given to the chopper when the chopper will be on the output voltage is zero get from the uh, get across the resistance r when chopper to be off the output voltage will be zero this is the step down with the resistive load so here so here the output voltage wave of the step down chopper will be given that is uh, v0 is the output voltage v is the chopper voltage t on t on and t off t on is the when chopper is the on time period t off is the off time period then here the first one is the voltage wave form second one is the current wave form for a current wave form i0 is the output current that is v by r and i dc is the constant dc voltage t is the total time period that is the t is equal to t on plus t off 
So VDC is the average value of the output or a load voltage. IDC is the average value of the output or a load current. TR is the time interval for which SCR contact. TR is the time interval for which SCR is off. So T is equal to TR plus TR. Period of switching or chopping period. F is equal to 1 by D. That is the frequency of chopper switching or as chopper chopping frequency. The average output voltage VDC is equal to V into TR by TR plus TR. So VDC is equal to V into TR divided by T. That is equal to V into D. D will be uh, is a 1 by T. Sorry, TR by T. That is uh, uh, duty cycle. So TR by T is the duty cycle. So average output current the IDC is equal to VDC by R. So IDC is equal to V by R. That is T R by T. That is V by R into D. So the RMS value of the output voltage V0 is equal to root of 1 by T. 0 to T on V0 is for DT. But during the T on V0 is equal to V. Therefore the RMS output voltage V0 is equal to root of 1 by t 0 to t on by v squared by dt v0 is equal to root of v squared by t into t on that is equal to root of t on by t into v v0 is equal to root of d into v so output power p0 is equal to v0 i0 but v i0 is equal to v0 into r therefore the output power p0 is equal to v0 squared divided by r so P0 is equal to that is the output power is equal to D V squared by R. So effective input resistance of the chopper R is equal to V by IDC. That is IT is equal to R by ID. R by D. The output voltage can be varied by varying the duty cycle. So method of control. Here two types. The output voltage can be varying the following method. Pulse width modulation control or frequency, uh, constant frequency operation or variable frequency control. Pulse width modulation that is the uh, pulse width modulation, the pulse width I or T on of the output waveform is varied keeping the chopper frequency F and hence the chopping period P constant. Therefore, the output voltage is varied by varying the on time TR shown in the figure. So variable frequency control in this method of control chopper frequency F is varied by keeping either T on or T of constant. This method is known as frequency modulation. So the frequency modulation to obtain full output voltage ranging frequency has to be varied over a wide range. This method of produce harmonics in the output and for the large T of load current may become discontinuous. So, pulse modulation control here T on T off. So, the output voltage V0, voltage uh, that is V, here the voltage is T on and here the voltage is T off. So, total time period is equal to T on plus T off. Here, the T on or T of any one is varying. First here the T on is constant. Then uh, T off is constant. So V0 is equal to T on, T off. But here the T will be a constant one. For both the waveform T is constant. From time ratio control. T on and T off. Here T on is constant, T is varying. So for a first waveform, T on, then for the second waveform also T on. These two T on are same value, so this will be a constant one. T off is varying, so T is varying. So first figure T off is uh, T of value. And the second waveform T of value will be varying. So T is also varying. 
So step down chopper with oral load. Here step down chopper with oral load and the free wheeling diode when chopper is on, the supply is connected across the load, current flows from the supply to the load. When the chopper is off, the load current I0 continue to flow in the same direction through the free wheeling diode due to the energy stored in the inductor L. So the load current can be continuous or discontinuous depending upon the value of L and the duty cycle. Here the step down chopper with RL load. Here uh, the supply will be given when the chopper is on. Here the output voltage is 0 across the R and L and E load. Here first, uh, when the chopper is will be on, the I0 current will pass through, passing through the R and L. In that time, the energy will be stored in the L. During the off period of the chopper, uh, energy stored in the uh, inductance will be released. So the diode, that is the freewheeling uh, diode will be on. So the current I0 will be passing through this loop. Passing through this loop. So in that time the output voltage is 0 is 0. For the waveform, here T on, T off. T. So the minimum current I, I minimum will be will be producing when the chopper will be in the on state. The current will be increasing up to T max. So maximum current will be attained at that time the chopper will be turned off. So turn off so the current will be decreasing and to attain I minimum value. Then the chopper will be on, so the current will be increasing. This is the output, the output current, this is the continuous current. This is the uh, inductance value will be more. The inductance value will be less or the inductance, no, only resistance value will be there. Then the current will be, uh, chopper will be on, the current will be zero, it will be increasing the maximum value. Then the chopper will be in the off state, it will be at the zero. So then uh, it will be on, so this will be a discontinuous current. So the current exceeds I maximum, chopper is turned off and it is turned on when the current reduced to I minimum. So expression for load current I zero for a continuous current operation with the chopper is on, that is T value will be in the 0 to T on. When the chopper will be in the on state, the current will be passing through I, R, L and D. So, when the output voltage will be get the V0 value. When the chopper will be in the off state, the output current will be 0. So, the voltage equation of the circuit shown in the figure is V is equal, v is equal to I0 into R plus L into D I0 by DT plus E. Taking the Laplace transform on both sides, V by S is equal to R into I0 of S plus L into S into I0 of S minus I0, 0, 0 minus plus E by S. So at T is equal to 0, initial current I0, 0, 0 minus is equal to I minimum. I0 of S is equal to V minus E divided by L into S into S plus R by L that is plus I minimum by S plus R by L. Taking inverse Laplace transform I0 of T is equal to V minus V by R that is 1 minus 1 minus E power minus R by L into T plus I minimum into E power minus R by L into T. This expression is valid for that is T value is from 0 to T on, that is during the period of chopper is on, at the instant the chopper is turned off, load current is, that is the I0 is T on is equal to I maximum. When the chopper is off, that period that is T will be in the 0 to T off. Chopper will be off state, the current only passing through RL and E. So that time the output voltage will be 0. So 0 is equal to R into I0 plus L into D I0 by DT 
plus e. So taking the Laplace transform on both sides, 0 is equal to r into i0 of s plus r into s into i0 of s minus i0 minus plus e by s. Here initial current will be 0. Uh, initial current i t is equal to 0. i0 of m is equal to i maximum. So i0 of s is equal to i maximum divided by s by r by l minus e by L into S into S plus R by L. Taking inverse Laplace transform, I zero of T is equal to I maximum into E power minus R by L into T minus E by R into 1 minus E power minus R by L into T. So, this expression will be valid for 0, uh, that is the time period T is equal to 0 to T of during the period of a chopper in the off time. So, in the on time period, T0 of T of is equal to I minimum. So, I maximum, find I maximum, I, I, I minimum. T is equal to T on, that is DT. T I of 0 is T is equal to I maximum. So, I maximum value is equal to V minus E by R into 1 minus E power minus d r t by l plus i minimum into e power minus d r t by l. So, t is equal to t of that is equal to t minus t of i 0 of t is equal to i minimum. t is equal to t of is equal to 1 minus d into t. So, i minimum is equal to i maximum into e power minus 1 minus d into r t by l minus e by r into 1 minus e power 1 minus v into r t by l. So, i maximum is equal to v by r into 1 minus e power minus d into r t by l divided by 1 minus e power minus r t by l into, sorry, minus e by r. So, i maximum is equal to v by r into e power d r t by l minus 1 divided by e power r t by l minus 1 minus e by r. i maximum minus i minimum is known as steady state ripple. So, peak to peak ripple current that is uh, delta i is equal to i maximum minus i minimum. Average output voltage that is v d c is equal to d into d. D is the duty circle. Average output current I DC the approximate is equal to I maximum plus I minimum divided by 2. So, according to load current varies linearly from I minimum to I maximum. Instantaneous load current is given by I0 is equal to I minimum plus delta I into T divided by DT for 0 to T non into DT. I0 is equal to I minimum plus I maximum minus I minimum divided by dt into t. RMS value of load current I0 or RMS is equal to root of 1 by dt, 0 to dt, I0 square dt. I0 RMS is equal to 1 by root of 1 by dt, 0 to dt, I minimum plus I maximum minus I minimum divided by dt into t, the whole square into dt. So, I0 RMS is equal to 1 by dt, 0 to dt, I minimum square plus I maximum minus I minimum divided by dt in the whole square, dt square plus 2 I minimum into I maximum minus I minimum into t into dt into dt. So, RMS value of output current, I0 RMS is equal to I minimum square plus I maximum minus I minimum the whole squared by 3 plus i minimum into i maximum minus i minimum the whole power of 1 by 2. RMS chopper current ICH is equal to root of 1 by t into 0 to dt i0 square dt ICH is equal to root of 1 by 2 0 to dt i minimum plus i maximum minus i minimum divided by dt into t the whole squared into dt ICH is equal to root d into i minimum square plus i maximum i minimum the whole square divided by 3 plus i minimum i maximum minus i minimum the whole power 1 by 2. 
ICH is equal to root of D into I0 or MS. The effective input resistance is R is equal to V by IS. IS is equal to average source current. IS equal to D into IDC. Therefore, R is equal to V by DIDC. Principle of step of chopper. Step of chopper that is voltage, the inductance, the chopper, D, C, load. So, chopper, step of chopper, when the chopper will be in the on state, the current passing through the chopper, so D will be conducting, so the output voltage will be. Step of chopper, V0 will higher than the input voltage V, the value of L and C are chosen depending upon the requirement of the output voltage and current. When the chopper is on, the inductor L is connected across the supply. The inductor current I raises and the inductor stores energy during the on time of the chopper T on. When the chopper is off, the inductor current I is forced to flow through the diode D and the load for, the, for a period T off. The current tends to decrease resulting in reversing the polarity of the induced EMF in L. Therefore, the voltage across the load is given by V0 is equal to V plus L into DI by DT. That is V0 is greater than this V. So, expression for the output voltage. When the chopper is on, the voltage across the inductor L is equal to V. Therefore, the energy stored in the inductor V into I into T on. T on is equal to on period of the chopper. When the chopper is off, the load uh, voltage across L is equal to V0 minus V. Energy supplied by the inductor L is equal to V0 minus V into, into I into T off, where T off is equal to off period of the chopper. Neglecting the losses, energy stored in the inductor L is equal to energy supplied by the inductor L. Therefore, V into I into G on is equal to V0 minus V into I into G of V0 is equal to V into T R plus T of divided by T of. So, V0 is equal to V into T divided by T minus T on. T is the chopping period or a period, period of switching. T is equal to T on plus T of. V0 is equal to V into 1 by 1 minus T on by T. Therefore, V0 is equal to V into 1 minus 1 divided by 1 minus D. D is equal to T on by T, that is the duty cycle. The variation of duty cycle D in the range of uh, 0 to 1, and the output voltage V0 will be varying the range of V voltage to infinity. So, classification of chopper. That uh, choppers are classified as class A chopper, class B chopper, class C chopper, class D chopper, class E chopper. Class A chopper and the class B chopper are in the one quadrant chopper. That is class A chopper in the first quadrant is working in the first quadrant. Class B chopper will be working in the second quadrant. Class C and class D chopper are two quadrant choppers. And the class C chopper is a four quadrant chopper. First is Class A chopper. For a class A chopper, when the chopper will be on, the, the, the output voltage will be across the load that is V0. When the chopper, when the chopper will be off state, uh, here in the load, here some energy will be stored that will be flowing through the freewheeling diode. So, the current supply is, but the voltage will be zero. So, for a class L here, the VI characteristics of the chopper VI. So, in that chopper, here it will be working in the first quadrant. So, the output voltage will be V. Class L chopper, empty load, freewheeling diode, and the chopper connected to the load. So, V0 is equal to V when the current passing through it. When it will the chopper to the outside, V0 is equal to 0. Here, this is the voltage waveform of the class A chopper. Here, first of all, IG is the high resistor gate pulse, I0 is the output voltage, V0 is the, uh, I0 is the output current, V0 is the output voltage. When the chopper will be on state, on state, the, the period of T on, it will be in the 
a voltage current will be increasing then when the t of period the current will be will be decreasing at uh, for uh, travel will be in the on state t on current will be increasing up to the maximum current of 5 amps then the chopper will be in the off state current will be decreasing up to the value of i minimum so this will be going on this is a in continuous current when the output voltage will fall here the chopper will be on here the pulse then chopper will be off state here no current will be there no voltage will be there so total time period is t on plus t off So, the class A chopper is also called a step down chopper, which plays a flow from source to source to load. It is used to control the speed of the DC motor. The current equation obtained in the step down chopper, the RL, can be used to perform the class A chopper. For a class C chopper, class B chopper, this is also a first quadrant chopper, a one quadrant chopper. Here, when the chopper will be on state, here the current will be passing through, through this. So, here the output voltage will be output voltage, current will be in the negative but the voltage will be positive. So, the output voltage will be D0. <coughs> During the chopper in the off state, the freewheeling diode will be working. So, the diode D will be working. So, here the current will be flowing through load to source. So, the current will be negative. So, class B chopper operates in the second quadrant. Power flow from the load to source. Uh, class B chopper is used for the Regenerative for the breaking of the DC motor. The current output current equation can be obtained as during the interval diode D conducts. The voltage equation is given by V is equal to L into D I0 by DT plus R into I0 plus E. So I0 for initial condition I0 of T is equal to I minimum. So at T is equal to 0. So, the step down chopper for the RL load, I0 of T is equal to V minus E by R into 1 minus E power minus R by L into T plus I minimum into E power R by L into T, the period of 0 to T off. When the T is equal to off state, I0 of T is equal to I maximum. So, I maximum is equal to V minus E by R into 1 minus E power minus R by L into T of plus I minimum into E power minus R by L into T of. So, during the interval of chopper will be in the on state. 0 is equal to L into D I 0 by D T plus R into I 0 plus E. So, T is equal to 0, I 0 of T is equal to I maximum. So, I 0, I 0 of T is equal to I maximum into E power minus R by L into T minus E by R. 1 minus e power minus r by l into t. So, that time time period will be 0 to t on. So, t is equal to t on, i0 of t is equal to i minimum. So, i minimum is equal to i maximum into e power minus r by l into t on. Minus e by r, 1 minus e power minus r by l into t on. So, this is the waveform of the class B chopper. Here, for the first waveform will be the thyristor gate pulse. Second will be in the low current waveform. Then third will be the output voltage waveform. So current waveform, the, this will be conduct when the I minimum. Then it will reach in the I maximum value. Then the thyristor will be out state. So the current will be decreasing. From the T on value, T on time now, here uh, D will be conducting, for a T of time, chopper will be conducting. So, next will be the voltage waveform, this is the D0 is the output voltage. 
classy chopper. Classy chopper is the two quadrant chopper. Here, this chopper will be the combination of class A and class B chopper. So, class C two quadrant chopper circuit. First quadrant operation C H O D is on or D2 conduct. For a second quadrant operation C H2 is on or D1 conduct. When the C H1 is on, the load current I0 is positive. I0 flows in the direction is shown in the figure. The output voltage is on the V and the uh, load receives the power from the source. Here, for a C O, for C H one means will be on on. D two will be conducting, so the output voltage will be V zero. This will be in the first quadrant. When the C H two will be on, D two is D one is conducting. Here the output voltage is V zero is the negative. Sorry, I output current I zero is negative. Here, the current is will be flowing from load to source. So, class C chopper can be used for both for DC motor control and DC and regenerative braking of DC motor. So, in the waveform, first one is the uh, gate pulse waveform and the set, uh, gate one. Sorry, uh, chopper one gate pulse. Second one is the chopper two gate pulse. I zero is the when D one is conducting, the current is flowing, and C H one is is also in the on state. Current will attain the maximum value. Then the D two conduct that is D one no is not conducting. D two conducts. Uh, D two is not conducting, and C H two is the on. So the current will be decreasing. And attain, and then D one is conducting on state. This is the continuous current. D zero is the output voltage waveform. Class B chopper. Class B chopper is also a two quadrant chopper. Uh, two quadrant chopper. When the C H one, C H one and C H two will trigger simultaneously. The output voltage D zero is equal to V, and the output current I zero is equal to I zero flows from the load the direction shown in the figure. When C H one C H two are turned off, the load current I zero continues to flow in the same direction through the load. D one and D two due to the energy stored in the inductor L, but the output voltage V zero is equal to minus V. The average voltage V zero is positive. The chopper is on time and more than the off time, and the output uh, voltage big, uh, becomes negative T or less than T. Hence, the direction of current. Is always positive, and the load voltage is also positive or negative. The voltage waveform will be shown in the figure. So I G I G one and G two are the two pulses, and the current uh, it uh, chopper is will be on. It attain the maximum value. Then it will be a not conducting means it will decreasing I minimum value. That in that time D one and D two is conducting. This is the output voltage waveform. So class C chopper, class C chopper here the C H one D one ah uh, here the load will be connected in the center part. So for the ah uh, this will be working in the four quadrant chopper. So for the first quadrant C H one and C H four will be in the on state, and the C H four and D two the D two is connected. So C H four and D two is connected. So C H four in the on state. So it will be on state. So it will be conducting current will be passing through C H one or L E and C H four and then C H four and negative value and D two D two is also conducting. So the current flowing will be there. So the output voltage V zero getting from the load. So in that time the current is also positive and the voltage is also positive. For a second quadrant operation, C H two conduct D four conduct C H two and D four conduct and the D one D four is conducting. So C H two will be conducting. So C 
CH4 will be contacting, so it will be uh, contacting and the current will be from the CH4 or L, E and D, D4. And D4. So, in that time, the voltage will be positive, current will be negative because it will be in the regenerative mode. So, the uh, current will be passing from low to source. So, next will be in the third quadrant operation CH3 and CH2. CH3 and CH2 will be in the open state, and then CH2 and D4 is conducting. So, CH3 will be conducting. So, current will be passing in CH3, E, L, R and the low, uh, CH2, CH2 passing. So, the output voltage will be negative and the output current also negative. Then the four, uh, four quadrant operation D2, D3 conducts and CH4, D2 conducts. So, in that time uh, CH4 will be conducting. And the D2 also conducting. So, in that time, the output voltage will be positive and the current is negative because the current will be passing from low to source. So, thank you.